welcome to the post game show on a cold winter night in Charlotte. Unfortunately, the heat was on. That is the Charlotte heat. The Charlotte Hornets had a chance to have a big week with a win Wednesday night over the Cleveland Cavaliers. Tonight had the Miami Heat on the ropes for post tonight. And Miami went to their two veteran all-star players of Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosch and were able to come from behind and win 98-95 in front of a sellout crowd here at Time Warner Arena. Again, the big story of the night was post player Hassan Whiteside, who as Coach Steve Clifford said, totally dominated the game. He had a triple-double with 10 points, 10 rebounds, 10 block shots. The Hornets continue to play, as Coach Clifford said, not smart basketball, taking it in and challenging him, and he continues to swat the shots away. Big difference tonight is absolutely no production off the Charlotte Hornet bench. No energy, no enthusiasm, no production coming off the bench with the substitutes in the ball game. Marvin Williams single-handedly tried to keep the Hornets in the game tonight as he tallied 27 points uh, with some key big shots going down the stretch. Also 21 points by uh, Nick Batum and 20 by Kimball Walker, but really no help from anybody else. Just a poor game tonight, not focused, not ready to play. The end result, the Charlotte Hornets had a chance to get to the 500 mark at 25 and 25, but now dropped two games below 500. They fall to 26 and 24, while the Miami Heat go to 29 and 22. Big scores tonight for the Heat with Chris Boss with 20 and 22 for Dwayne Wade. What else would you expect though? On a big night tonight that Alonzo Mourning was honored at halftime here as a longtime favorite and big time player here for the original Charlotte Hornets. Bad night tonight for the Hornets. Now they must reload, get ready. The Washington Wizards come to town and play tomorrow night in Charlotte. They have a day off in the Chicago Bulls. Tough stretch right now. Hornets play in some tough competition with a chance to try to get back even though, but they're going to have to fight over this one really quick and get back on track tomorrow night as the Wizards come to town. Again, Charlotte got outscored 31-20 in the fourth quarter. The Hornets led by seven points in the fourth quarter, early in the fourth quarter, but could not hold the lead. Miami battles back. They get to double you tonight, though. Reporting for Cox Sports Broadcasting, I am the coach, Dick Cox.